Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome back to another episode of Summertime Saga. Now, we know in the last episode, Miss DeWitt was trying to get her talent show together, and we were almost there. We had everybody that was going to be in the talent show. We were getting ready to do this thing, but then it got sabotaged. The auditorium was vandalized, and we were left in shambles. We did find out, though, that Mrs. Smith and Annie had something to do with it, and... We may have a way to clean the auditorium and save the day. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right. There they are. Hey, look at that. They just come and party at night. All right, I'm here. So what's this idea you had? Well, we need help to clean the auditorium for the talent show, right? Yeah. Say hello to the help. What up, Cracker Jack? Whoa. You mean these guys are going to help us clean? That's right. What, you think just because we gangsta, we can't do a little charity work from time to time? No, well, no, I, I didn't mean good, because you'd be right. <laughs> okay, I, I'm officially confused. Hey, they're going to help us, but we'll have to do something for them too. Oh, I see. What do they want? You got to get us some 40s, yo. Uh... 40s? No, 40s. I told you cans. It's fine, whatever. They just want us to get them some beer. What? I'm not old enough to buy beer. Well, yeah, I know that. Doesn't your buddy have some? Uh... That guy with the karaoke machine, Evan? Oh, you mean Eric. Yeah, that guy. He had a bunch of beer there at his place. Oh, man. They're going to help us clean the entire thing, right? That's the idea, dummy. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll see what I can do. I'll meet you guys in the auditorium tomorrow for the cleanup. I'll make sure they hold their end. All right, Eric. What's up, dude? Hey. Hey, Thomas. What's up? Um... Uh, uh, hey man, could uh, I take a case of Mr. Johnson's beer? <laughs> yeah, yes. What's it for? Well, it's a bribe for Eve's friends. They're going to help us clean up the graffiti from the auditorium walls. Oh, for Mr. West Talent Show? Yup. Cool. Take as much as you need, dude. Oh, thanks, Eric. You're a good friend. That was pretty easy. I guess we'll go down here and grab this case that's already prepared for us. It's totally, totally should be plenty. And uh, I'll just go to bed, I guess. All right, now it's Monday. Let's go to the auditorium. It seemed that Tyrone and his gang had gotten started without me. They had done an amazing job, too. The auditorium was spotless. I guess that old saying is true. You can't judge a book by its cover. Holy crap, you guys already started. Dude. Look around you. We already finished. You hold up your end of the bargain? Yeah, I got your beer. Right here, whole case, right in my backpack, where I've also put a guitar and several other things that don't fit in backpacks. Here you go. He's just going to start drinking right now. <laughs> nice. All right. We were just about to run out. Thomas, you should go tell Mr. Witt to come and take a look. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, thanks for doing this, guys. Hey, Mr. Witt, you in here? Yeah, I'm right here, sugar. Oh, she's going to say the same shit. Hey, I have a surprise for you. I'm not really in the mood for games, Thomas. Oh, no games, seriously. I have something that's going to cheer you right up. Oh, sugar, you're so sweet. Come with me. All right, lead the way. Surprise! Oh my lord. You guys, how did you... It looks good as new in here. <laughs> Eve called in some backup. Yeah, but I couldn't have done it without Thomas. I just can't believe this. You kids are just wonderful, all of you. Wait a second, are you drinking beer? You can't be having that stuff on school grounds. Mrs. Smith will have our hides. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Guys, hide that stuff, will you? Why don't you guys take that stuff up to my office? We can celebrate up there. 
Really? You don't mind? Oh, Lord, no. I'm so happy right now. I think a little celebration is just what we need. You heard it, boys. Pack it up and let's hit Mr. Witt's office. I don't know how you manage this, Thomas. Oh, it was no big deal. I just didn't like seeing you all upset, Mr. Witt. Oh, you're quite a little charmer, sugar. Oh, here comes Mrs. Smith. What the? How did this place get fixed up so fast? The students got together and cleaned it because they're excited for the talent show. Impossible. Look, I told you this show is happening, and you better just deal with it. Come on, Thomas. Let's head upstairs. Damn it. She's upset, right? This isn't over. Okay, let's go upstairs and party. I want to Mr. Witt's office. And hello, Mr. Witt. What is going on? <laughs> Jeez, what's going on in here? Hot box. Close the door, honky. You're letting out all the smoke. Hey, be nice to Thomas. He's my little sugar. <laughs> Mr. Witt, what happened to your clothes? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know. That's somewhere around here. Hmm. Come dance with me. Oh, man, I, I'm not much of a dancer. Well, that's all right, sugar. Just have a seat and I'll dance for you. Uh, okay. All right, this is a, this is a different kind of dance. I don't think Thomas was expecting this. A lap dance right here. Thanks again for today, Thomas. It really was an incredible surprise. My pleasure, Ms. DeWitt. See you tomorrow. Good night, sugar. Well, what's going to happen now? Is this her office? She's got a pretty rad office. I mean, instruments everywhere. She's got a recording studio. That's pretty sweet. Hey there, Thomas. Hey, Mr. Witt. You ready for practice? You bet. Go on, take a seat then, sugar. There we go. Weird ass looking band, but uh, it's all right. Practicing with Kevin and Eve was so much fun. We were going to slay at the talent show for sure. That was a good session. We're sounding really good, you guys. Yeah, this is so much fun. Uh, it's a shame we'll never get to play. What, what? Hold on, what? Huh? What are you talking about, Kevin? There's no way Mrs. Smith is going to let this talent show actually happen. Thomas, I heard her and Annie plotting. They're bound to have something up their sleeve. Shouldn't we tell Mr. Witt? Why? There's nothing we can do to stop it. Oh, no. It it'll just upset her. We're going to have to deal with Mrs. Smith ourselves. Hmm. I'm in. Oh, uh, are you, you guys are serious? Mrs. Smith will expel us in a heartbeat if she catches us messing with her. So, you just want to let her shit all over Mr. Witt's talent show? I'm not saying that. It's just, we have to be careful, that's all. My sister will kill me if I get expelled. Oh, you don't have to be involved, Eve. Kevin and I can handle it. Psh, yeah, right. I can't wait to hear the plan you two numbskulls come up with. It'll fail for sure without my feminine wiles. Yeah, <laughs> good. It'll be a lot easier with three people. So what's the plan, Thomas? We just have to figure out a way to keep Mrs. Smith and Annie as far away from the auditorium as possible. Hmm. You mean, like trapping them somewhere? That's not a bad idea. Wait a second. I've got it. Remember that adhesive we made in Miss Okita's class a while back? No. Oh, that's right. You weren't back at school yet. I remember. That stuff was like insanely sticky. You needed a chemical solvent to neutralize it. Exactly. Remember how Dexter got his hand stuck to his forehead? <laughs> yeah, that shit was hilarious. It took Miss Okita 20 minutes to get him sorted out. Wow, it's that strong? Yeah, bro, this stuff is wicked. Do you remember how to make it? I think so, yeah. So, so what are you proposing? I'm thinking we sneak into Mrs. Smith's office at night and glue her, her chairs to the floor. We also apply some to the cushions and presto, they'll be stuck there until someone finds them. 
even then, they'll need the solvent to get free. I hate to say it, but it's actually kind of brilliant. Nice job, Kevin. I guess us men aren't so stupid after all. <laughs> yeah, well, even a broken clock is right twice a day. So, do we need to gather ingredients or something? Nah, man, everything we need is in the science lab. Here we are. All right, how's it coming, Kevin? No worries, bro. I got it right here. That's it? Let me see. Whoa, bro. Be careful with that stuff. Are you guys really going to sneak into Mrs. Smith's office tonight? Oh, you're not coming? No way. Sorry, Thomas. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy a little mischief as much as the next girl, but this one's too risky. It's, it's fine, Eve. Kevin and I can handle it. Kevin? Actually, I think I'm going to sit this part out, too. Seriously? What? After all your big talk earlier? Sorry, Thomas. Oh, my God. I'm still going through with this. I can't let, I can't let Mrs. Smith ruin the talent show. You're really going to do this by yourself? I guess I have to. Mm-hmm. You guys better feel sorry. You better feel bad about it. I don't know. Maybe Eric will help me. Boom. Here it is. Okay. Where the heck is Eric? He should have been here by now. Thomas. Oh, there you are. What took you so long? Sorry, dude. I, I was pillaging the Orcat village, and I kind of lost track of time. Is that a video game thing? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's just focus on the mission, Eric. What's our mission anyways? We gotta break into Mrs. Smith's office and apply this adhesive solution to her office chairs. Is that the same stuff we made in Miss Okita's class a while back? Yeah, Kevin made it for me. That stuff's crazy strong. And you want to put it on Mrs. Smith's chairs? Won't she get stuck? <laughs> That's kind of the point, dude. Oh, right. Well, lead the way, I guess. The school was locked down tight, but I was determined to find an entry point somewhere. Perhaps one of these main floor windows could do the trick. Whoa. Eric was not the ideal partner for a stealth mission, but I was still glad to have him along. There was no way I could have managed with this without him. As Eric helped me through the window, I couldn't help but feel like this had been way too easy. There was certainly something ominous about the school tonight. Shh. I hear something. Oh, look at this. What the fuck? Shh. Stay quiet. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's what I just said. Like, what the? Who the? Who was that? And where are they going? I don't like this, Thomas. We should get out of here. Calm down, dude. They don't know we're here. What do you think is up with those creepy outfits? I don't know. I think we should follow them. Are you nuts? It'll be fine, Eric. Just stay behind me and keep quiet. <sighs> fine. Let's go. They're going into the men's. Or no, where are they going? They just went into the utility closet? Why would they go in there? It doesn't make any sense. They couldn't all fit in there. You think maybe there's a secret tunnel or something? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. This is really creeping me out. Can we leave now? Hold on. We still have a mission to complete. Come on, let's head up to Mrs. Smith's office on the third floor. Okay. So we know something's going on in here. That's a, that's a, a, a mission for another day, I think. But right now, we got to finish this. Stick the principal to the chair mission. Okay, you watch the door while I apply the adhesive, all right? Yeah, okay. Just hurry up, dude. I want to get out of here. I will, dude. Don't worry. 
I made sure the chairs were glued to the floor before moving to the cushions. There was no way I would let Mrs. Smith and Annie ruin the talent show. Not after the hard work we had put into it. I didn't stop until every last drop of the adhesive had been used. All right, that should do it. I, discon I disconnected her phone from the outlet, too, so there's no way they can call for help. <laughs> nice thinking. Now let's get out of here, Thomas. Yeah, I'm right behind you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday. I think this is the day of the talent show. But with all this new information that came up, I don't want to get ahead of myself. We are going to hold this talent show off for one more video. Okay? I know. I know what you're thinking. Damn it, scavenger. You got me on the edge of my seat here. That's well, too bad. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We will get to this talent show and that mysterious meeting at the school. We're going to do it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks again. You guys take it easy. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.